Hello everybody, it's Shadow from Pokemon Mo Investments, and today I wanted to share with y'all a position I've built up as an investment. This investment is a new traditional sort of investment. It's not a loot box, it's not a vanity, it's actually Pokemon, and a fair few of them. Now, Pokemon Mo has been around since 2012, with a somewhat public prototype stage being available from April to June of 2012. The earliest characters on the live server are from June 20th of 2012, which is the last time they wiped the servers before it was officially released. Most players consider August to be the actual beginning of PokeMMO. Now, with this information in mind, here's my position in 2013 Mons. <clears throat> As you can see, I have uh, two boxes worth of them. They're all... 2013. Uh, I bought them off a player who played from 2013 to 2014 in Petrovsky's server, and they recently came back to the game. Uh, here are also some 2014 mods I bought off them, and in this next box, we have a bunch of 1x31s from 2013 and a few from 2014, including a 2x31 from 2014. Now, Here's my favorite Mon, a 2012 1x31 Caterpie. As you can see in the name, I bought it for 104k, and I believe it will raise a significant amount for when more players realize what a flex and how rare a 2012-2013 Mon is. Now, I'm a big Magic the Gathering fan, and I have a fair bit of real-life money invested in Magic the Gathering. What I invest in most is sealed product and old cards especially reserve list, but that's a topic for another day. In Magic the Gathering, even if cards are reprinted, the original ones from 1994 to 1996 are very sought after because of their age. Magic the Gathering was seen as an evil game, so cards were actively destroyed and ruined because of the media telling parents it's evil, just like they said D&D was evil and satanic. This means that there aren't met too many left, and that creates a significant value and market for them. I feel old Pokemon are similar, they have a date, and PokeMMO was just starting out in 2012 and 2013. Most of the mons from that era are lost to people who haven't logged back in for years or have been used for breeding way back then, but mostly there is a lower supply than most people think because most accounts from back then have either been hacked and banned, or they've simply been forgotten about and the people who own those accounts won't be coming back. Personally, this seems very lucrative as I love limited things that can really only decrease in supply. Do I think it's the only investment you should have? Absolutely not. These mons are more of a long-term hold for when the game ages. I believe it will still be around, and therefore, these Genesis-era mons will be worth a significant amount. That's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember that this is not investing advice. Uh, do what you want with your Pokeyen. Enjoy the game how you want to. I just like collecting and seeing the money go up, and I'm simply providing my thoughts and opinions. I was originally intending to make this an unscripted video, but I figured it would be best to make this as educational as possible. Please let me know in the comments below uh, what y'all would like to see next, or if anyone has any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.